Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome to the Posey time. I missed my mark, guys. Um, welcome to your favorite Sega Out podcast. It's Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Coming to you live on Twitch, and I don't think YouTube anymore. Um, and and this, guys, we should call it the What Have You Been the Fans Been Whining About? Reset, reset the uh, the league episode. Wait, Frank, quick quiz. Uh, what number episode is this? Um, one oh something something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it. it. One oh nine. One oh nine. Episode one oh nine. Welcome to one oh nine, people. This is the last final episode before the twenty twenty two Qatar Sham World Cup starts. So um, <laughs> we got a lot to do. Let's cover last week. We'll talk a little World Cup. We'll uh, talk about how Juventus just fooled everybody to end up in the top three <laughs> in the first half, and uh, a lot of other stuff in between. So. What do you guys, uh, oh yeah, for those guys that haven't caught the show before, there's four of us, Frank, Chris, Dan, and Pietro, say hello, fellas. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. All right, enough of the niceties, let's get into it. There's actually a lot of good games for the last week before the break, um, especially the Sunday games where, you know. Uh, that was actually my first thing that I think I texted you guys and said, I guess they don't, they no longer do the, um, the schedule at random, because you could totally tell they stacked like four good games in one week for the last week, it was so weird. Mm-hmm. But it made for it made for a good weekend. Um, we do have a few games we're going to talk about. Chris, which one do you want to talk about first? Oh, we're going Juventus, baby. Really? <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Juventus. If, for the people that didn't watch, they did win three nothing versus Lazio. I don't know, man. Were they kind of entertaining this week or no? Yeah, More than normal. Good. They played good. They played good. Yeah, they did play good. Uh, okay, so let's break that down, right? Because I think we all agree they played one of their better games, if not their best game of the season. It's got to be one of their top two or three games this season for sure. For sure. So why? So do we think it was Lazio, or do we think? I mean, I know we played better, but why do you think it was so complete it's for ninety minutes? I think we played better than that. Yeah. Oh, but Lazio was disappointing too. They didn't have real shots until the ninetieth minute. You know. Yeah, the mm-hmm. one thing I can say, Lazio was missing immobile. Yeah. 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 Somebody else. Zakani, you know, yeah, they, they did miss some players, but yeah. um, I mean, the last we played good, yeah. But you saw from Juventus, because... them, it was a little different, like them putting pressure on, forcing turnovers, quick passes forward. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was actually entertaining and it worked. <laughs> I think it was a little bit of everything, right? I think it was a little bit better mentality, even at halftime, they came out. And try to put pressure on the ball right away. It was like they played with a different mentality. Rob Yot did the same thing beautiful when he stopped. But Nico Savic did that beautiful pass. Yes. Which Keen, nice finish. Like nice finish on that play. I, I said to Dan, good, we could sell him now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you, Moise Kane is probably the player of the month for the entire league for November, and Allegri is the coach of the month for November. That's how that's how they've been that's how they've been doing it this month. Uh, why? I mean, Kane had what three goals? Three goals. Listen, because they don't deserve it because Allegri is playing okay. I don't think the Juventus is going to give it ten million. No, I hope not. And, and here's the thing, though: not. everything's yeah. relative, right? Like he put Fajoli in. I think Fajoli helps people like Locatelli and Rabiot play a little bit better. I think like it's all connected. And, and listen, but, but, you see. You just mentioned Fajol, Frank, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you to compare that position you, before you had McCain, right? Yeah, exactly. At this Fajol, you see him sometimes, so you see even with some good passes too. Good passes. He's, to he's, he's 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 confident on the ball, but also, do you notice how? We used to complain about McKinney sometimes. It felt like he was playing like wing to go score, right? Mm-hmm. Fajoli, if you notice, he's still got into the action. Like, because, he's still got into position. Because because of Frank, uh, a lady required from McKenna to score, which is a uh, end of not sense. Not I it's guess. Do you think, do you think he's you should make him do the midfield first. Right, he should. So and I'm then saying he's up and score. I'm saying is, do you think it's Fajoli that knows how to run in the position despite with, with – uh, like we said, yeah, well, he tells the role differently. His intelligence is way yeah. more than McKenny. He uh, definitely has a better, he's smarter feel. than McKenny, yeah. right? So, is yeah. he just like running himself to the position? I think you'll see him interchange with Locatelli. He'll no, be on the side. He knows what he's doing. He put a McKenny, he, he requires McKenny. Don't forget it. I let you say 
from a kid I want to ten go. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. Though, so he put in his head, he has to score. Yeah, but Jolie has a better yeah. awareness. He's yeah, um, like smart. I, I'm wondering. I'm wondering though if he gave Fajoli something similar to McKinney, but Fajoli is just better positioned, smarter. No, it's a better position, better, more ball in the field. That's what I mean. So, but is that just the player and Allegri is giving the same direction and the player is adjusting because he's yeah, Allegri's telling him 10 goals and McKenny's taking that to heart. Yeah, it could be, right? Like, he wants to score 10 goals. I'm dumb. I'm just going to run up there. Like, I think of all the players that you see um, for this winter transfer, because I don't think there's going to be a lot of moves, but the one player I could see moving is McKenny. I mean, yeah. see him moving out. And, and would, one thing you see today, the right now, you see Rabiot run more, get mm -hmm. more ball. You see on the right, you see on the left. Uh, Pope, uh, Locatelli, the same thing. Maybe they get all together and they play a little bit better. Yeah, they enjoy playing with each other. There, there, there's two things for me for Juventus that you, I really like the past couple of weeks. Number one, well, first of all, the defense. They haven't let up a goal in six games or whatever it is. But Bremer switching to the middle of a three is yeah, what, that's we, what we've been talking about. Yeah. Well. yeah. So that is a nice is, is nice to see. But then also the use of Kostic and and, and getting away from Quadrado so much and not relying on him for his shitty crossing and whatever bad passes that he does, using Kostic more and him actually getting crosses off has been a big difference. Yeah, Kostic has been a little more, but I, I do think I do have a couple spots to blame, like even in a 3 nothing win, right? Like, for me, the worst the worst one on the field was Quadrado. Yeah. And he didn't come out. Okay, mm -hmm. which is again, just, I'm just talking to Legri, just signs of him still being not great, right? Even though they want they to don't have a lot to change him with. No, 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 no they do because his first sub was Keen, Keen which at he 60, he 60 minutes and he was playing, playing good, yeah. and, and that, that was a pre programmed sub. Of like, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put what's his name in, uh, Di Maria. That's who that was. That was not anything to do with what was going on. But here's the thing who are you, who are you putting in Quadrado's position? What do you mean, Okapur? Yes, of course, the Chabal Lowry's supposed to be. No, I'm talking about in Quadrado's position. Quadrado was, yes, I like the Maria. Not now, not right now. He hasn't played them there, that's what I'm saying. Not right now. And the formation, the, the, the formation. Well, well, I'm not even debating like, who we should have put in, but do you agree that Quadrado was the worst one on the field and he played the entire game? Yeah. yeah. He had yeah. a lot of turnovers in the first half. He doesn't make himself visible, right. and he's not good. And then Keen, who you finally he's 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 moving a little bit better. He's getting a little bit of confidence. He played good for sixty minutes, not because just he scored, but he was you know he you take him the first one out, and that was just what to get Di Maria. It's not, and by the way, yeah, the way you see what he said, Keen. Keen, you say he lost the six pounds. Yeah, he's he got like it well now. Right? It looks like two, it. two things. One. I feel like Allegri has conversations with McKenny. I mean, um, Kane beforehand saying, "Hey, I give me sixty and we're good." Like, I feel like that's the thing that they. they I agree, because it was a pre-done thing. Two, do me a favor, Frank. Um, go shut your door. Let's see if it helps with your echo. Do I have an echo? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> I, I don't want your echo, but um, yeah. No, I mean, for I'm me, it's even like. <laughs> yes, he was very close to the mic. Um, I wasn't going to say. Are you the door open? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. So, but I really, we really can't complain as Juventus fans. Um, from the beginning of the game, really, like they, it was a better start. It was, it was oh, more, yeah. it was more consistent of a of a performance. Um, yeah, but I, 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 I see. All right, we did. It. See this game and they didn't score one goal on us, right? Yeah. yeah. I see an improvement if we put a Bonucci out. Yeah. That's but actually that's those a lot. Part, that's what, what, what I say. I would have put a guy coming Okay, but side, it looks like Which Allegri's... he did the one mistake he got. You know, yeah, when he's... But, but it, it looks goal. like Allegri's turned the corner on that and is actually finally... And, and, and you know that, that play, play Brem in the middle, you improve the formation in the defense a lot. Which, like adding it. to what Dan said about McKenny leaving, honestly, I could see Bonucci putting up a stink saying, hey, I want to go in the winter, which would be fantastic. Let's get rid of them all. Let's get rid yeah. of them both. I don't, I don't really care. care. Like, I like McKenny, but if he's going to play the way Allegri's played him, he, he got no, worse. At yeah. this point, like, at this point, with McKenna, I would have tried to make it 30 minutes. 
Well, you're not getting 30 I don't think you're getting that much. I mean, unless yeah, he has a good they, World Cup. An England team would take him for that much. Yeah. But I think, yeah, if, if I was them, if they had the option, I would get rid of him and I would bring back Rovella if you could. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think you're allowed I don't think to. You can I, either, I think but... it's a permanent loan for the year. Um, yeah. But, which Rovella had a good game this weekend. But, 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 but also, in, Di Maria. In, 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 in this, right, we talk about Fagioli, right? Fagioli Miretti. But in this uh, uh, case, we, of course, we can see the if you uh, we can see if uh, we would have kept uh, Rovella, mm-hmm. it would be better, still better. Which was my entire thing in the beginning yeah, of the season when we better. started, right? When you guys asked me what would we play, I said I would. I said I didn't want Pogba, I didn't want Paredes. I would have played those those guys. I would I would have loved to see a midfield a couple of games of Ravella, Fagioli, yeah. and Benetti. Like how cool would that have been? They would have played the ball. Happened. They would have played the ball better than yeah. any midfield we have now. You know, I mean, I mean I, 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 we're complaining. They're playing really, really well. I mean, okay, we have, I, we have I, to I give a little credit. There. They played the last game well. No, I mean, well, played, an inter mean, game was okay. They played the inter game. Yeah, okay. come on. They didn't, uh, the so Rona two games. Game, the Rona yeah. game wasn't good, but they won it. The Rona know? game wasn't good. Um, the, fact that, the fact that they're they're in third place after such a crappy season is well, ridiculous. I well, that's, that's why I almost feel like the league. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, I feel, I feel like Allegri did it to make us all look stupid, right? Because we were slamming it. But but that's why I want to I want to be fair. Like I'm calling out. Yes, we're playing better. But like the Quadrado thing, the Kane being pre done. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, even uh, where he put Di Maria, it caused it caused problems in the midfield. Like it wasn't like where Di Maria played in, in the forward. It wasn't like Di Maria made things better. He confused things. Yeah, yeah. So like that's the hey, Allegri. Like, no, you know, the discussion is. Uh, the discussion is, you know, remember when you were playing Allegri out? Yeah. And now they that. try to give it. merit to Allegri. Mm-hmm. The thing says, all right, we win the six, six game in a row. But a lot of things happen, not for Allegri. Yeah, they it helped Allegri. Because they had to happen. Yeah. They, like, lucked into it. Yeah. <laughs> Which we said early, right? We because said, oh, maybe. They, they, if it was for Allegri, this thing would happen before. Yeah. You would not get rid of the Bala. You would not get rid of Rovella. You, you would yeah, not get rid of I mean, I'm just a little more yeah. optimistic yeah. than you guys. Play the Maria. Because, like, for me, I know Napoli is winning the championship, but if there's one team that is going to get first place this season, besides Napoli, it's Juventus. No. I see them as the only team. Yes, no. I, that's how I see oh, it. I kind, of, I, kind of, I kind of buy that with Dan at this mm-hmm. point. I think you don't let a team like Juventus get close. Yeah, if Napoli's going to lose it, they have a chance to lose to the Juventus. I think the, the, just got, the I think championship, got it's an episode. It's a, a cycle. You know, period for one team, a period for not. But for this team that want to win the, win the championship, they can afford to lose a lot of points in the beginning. Yeah, it's tough. You yeah. can. Because you see, a team like Napoli, if you start to win, you never stop. Yeah. And then it's going to be hard. Listen, I'm telling you, Napoli has got this break. It's the worst thing that could happen to them. That this no, year, that it, they're, the way they're playing happened in the year with the World Cup I agree, happening yeah. in the middle of the year. Like, that's, I'm playing just a Napoli bad luck. That th- this, and I'm, I still think they're by far the best team. But if you think about Napoli's luck and their lack of like being able to do it for a full year, to me, this month off. Yeah. Cause, you know, all it takes is one tie. They come back the first game and Juventus is to eight. And now a direct contest, you're, 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 you're down to five, right? Like, and now all of a sudden the pressure's on. Like, well, to, to what you're saying, Frank, I just hope it doesn't come down to like, Someone getting hurt at the World Cup just ruined. Oh no, game. no, like, that's yeah. gonna suck. No, I want to beat the best people. I don't want to beat your, your yeah. half oh, team. And what think they say statistically? They say a team that loses five games in fifteen games. It's impossible to win. Yeah. Can, yeah. Can that's win why the they're match. saying Inter has no chance. Which I would agree. I don't think Inter has a chance to win the title. They yeah, but mathematically, still... they're one point behind Juventus, right? Yeah. Like, oh, um, because. You know what, Frank? If you want to get in the championship, you you just know in the beginning you cannot lose more than three games. 
Well, and that, yeah, that's my thing. Like, I don't see this is out pretty much. They got one but, but I don't see Napoli <laughs> losing five games all season. No, and no, and they deserve they lost five games. So they've had uh, they have zero. Right? Yeah, they have, but they've also not tied either. Like they've tied two. Like they've taken away max points in all these games. Yeah. Like it doesn't take necessarily you losing four in a row. You tie two, you lose one. And the other teams win, and all of a sudden you're down to five points. I get it's, what you're saying. It's like the tail of think like Brazilian win or lose, not tie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hear, I hear what you guys are saying, but not please wrap this up already. No, no, I, 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 listen, I, I agree. Listen, they're ten points. I agree with you. I'm saying I, I started this with hey, the you ones know that said you that don't could do it. You know that the thing is now we have the World Cup. You know it's the team that put that give a more more player the World Cup. You yeah, yeah. So we should tell you if you were in a such bad, what you could have completely. Because you have a the, shitty coach. That's what it tells you. Man, yeah, man. I just think we all are on the same page. Like they're playing better than they played, but we also think Allegri got lucky with some of this stuff. Like it's not him, and he's still seeing a lot of his faults, like leading on Quadrado for ninety minutes, the, putting the, people no, in that, there. The only that, thing that, I'm gonna that, 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 that's you need a little bit luck. You know why? Because. Take two of the six games we win. We won Verona won nothing. You let you won nothing. Mm-hmm. Hey, those are two games we could have tied. Right. Here, right? have, go ahead, the guys. only thing I'm going to give Allegri credit to right now is him essentially benching Bonucci yes. and making that switch. But Bonucci was hurt for a game or two, wasn't he, that let him do it? Mm-hmm. But here's my here's my point is like – the, it's just different because I can point out two things. One, Chris did not fall asleep during this game, so that's huge. Uh, that wrong. The beginning. Did you, did. did you fall asleep? In the, the beginning. beginning? Yeah. Well, you have like an iron deficiency or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but so you watched ninety-five percent of that game. Yeah. Um, so that that's saying yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. And then the other thing is, I actually threw a bet on Juventus mid-game, and I haven't bet in a long time on Juventus because they just you can't rely on them. But you you just felt the confidence in them as they were playing that they were going to win that game. Um, I didn't see Lazio, you know, other than their two chances late in the end of the game, they really no. didn't do anything. Malinka no, and right. Savage was, you know was, didn't do anything. No. You know what surprised me in that game? If you think about Lazio, the forward, that guy, the young guy is good. Luca yeah. Rivera is very good. Yeah. Yes. And the old two is a point a little bit is Anderson and Pedro. Like they didn't touch no ball. Yeah, I think also yeah, so that I, Anderson you saw at the end with the, the shot. Couple shots, yeah, at the end. I think all yeah, those two shots at the end were kind of good. And Chesney made two good saves, but like, mm-hmm. but I think, I think also like the forwards that they had really were easy. They were like good matchups for our defenders, our three defenders, like. Because physically, like they couldn't really, and speed well, wise, they couldn't really uh, punish none our guys. Now strikers, they're, they're, they're all winners. Yeah. Not, not, not to get for, if you would compare the midfield, the Juventus, the last show, Juventus midfield was better than that game. Listen, 100%. Yeah, but, and this is my criticism of Milan yeah, Savic. It's always been. And people like think he's one of the best midfielders in the world. And maybe he is. But I always said he's the type of guy that when your team is playing good, when your team's dominating, they're having fun. Yeah, that, that's a natural thing. No, no. I think that's for natural. him, when not if I'm going to pay good, someone, pay not good. if I'm going to call you a top midfielder, $80 million, $100 million. You can't be the guy that shows up when we're having a good time and scores two goals and yeah. have two he assists disappeared. He disappeared and looks beautiful. And then in a game that's hard, you disappear like everybody else. But to be yeah, fair, that, nobody that, that, uh, that, no, that's, 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 no, but they're not all saying they worth right, $100 million right, either. Right. That's you know what it could be too. Depends on the team you're playing with. No, but he's we been doing this since we change mentality. Yeah, but no. he's been doing this the whole time on lots. He does. No, he with he Juventus would have changed mentality. Oh, maybe if, they would have say you want to be number one. You have to show you to be. Yeah, number that could one. that could be too. People do sometimes change playing on better teams, but but not like current day. Until recently, Juventus was a shit show with the yeah. no. So like it I wasn't see, exactly I, I fishing was people. About, you see, midfield they lost you. Melinko Sanchez, Cataldi, and Basic. Then Juventus is Fagioli, uh, uh, Rabiot, and Locatelli. All three, they play better than the other three. Yeah. So if you put all three together, that's the, the explanation. All right. Really quickly, because we spent 20 minutes on even, that. Even the Quadrato, they didn't do nothing. We are going to wrap that up. Just It was nice seeing Keza, a nice assist. Hopefully, it can be dangerous again. 
it'll help that team out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Even uh, if you see, yeah, in January they, they were talking about uh, like now in general, you know, to buy and sell too. And you have to, to think in general, you went to see hope, hope for us, yes, a pog by De Maria. Yeah, hey, she knew people. I want them to get rid of De Maria in this January. Let's move on, let's go to Napoli. Maria, the, uh, Maria. Get, Get in shape with the World Cup, then this is a plus for Juventus. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna come back in sandals, is my prediction. No, 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 no. Then the day you know, doesn't have to think, he doesn't have to think he, he, you know, he has to save his foot. We'll see. Let's let's go to the Napoli game since we talked about the, the, them a little bit already. Mm-hmm. Um, so they they had they beat they won again, they beat Unanes uh 3 2. <laughs> which they they had a three nothing yeah, lead three nothing and, game and Udinese is what twenty twenty minutes there's twenty five minutes left made it interesting which is typical of them because they do score late and they do make the game interesting you know and Napoli had more chances mm-hmm. um, also that were saved by Silvestri he he made some nice saves but you know maybe they took their their feet off the pedal a little bit up three nothing no problem but Elmas has played really really well and oh well, maybe you know what Daniel mm-hmm. maybe in this case you know what is Napoli. They know they're good. Yeah. And maybe they. That's what I said. They, they relax. Of, they relax after up three nothing. That's the only not to be saying this. You know, we win the game. But there was actually five goals in, the, in that game, and there were five nice goals. If you didn't watch the highlights, watch it. All the tie. You know, to the day they get tied. Yeah. It was a good game. It was. Yeah. It was. It was entertaining. Um, they continue to win. Uh, they and they score what in the fifteenth minute in the thirtieth minute like they were just like clockwork every fifteen minutes to scoring goals and you know constant opportunities they control the possession but Udinese you know they gave them a challenge which was they they usually give every team a challenge but it got a little dicey at the end there <laughs> that oh maybe sure. they'll slip up and uh, somebody will have some hope going into the break that you know they are beatable or you can get points from them but they they ended up um, you know holding on to it. I don't know that there's anything else that really stood out other than Elmas, you know, playing, wow. coming also, in for Krabo. Osman's playing well too. Osman, yeah, but I mean, it was a beautiful cross from Elmas. Yeah. Um, Osman had the back heel um, to I forget to who, but he had a back heel and then the pass over to Zelinski, who scored a really nice goal. Um, you know, they're just they're playing well. Everyone's playing well, even when Mario Rui plays well. Like and the guys, yeah, the guy's not good. You know, yeah, you know like, going back, you know. <laughs> Mistake to mistake, got did when he was losing the ball. Even Kim made the score. That made the score. Kim's had a, a little slip up well, here. Well, mistake, yeah. they, they score. But he's still he's still one of the best defenders in the league. Yeah, right. he'll be. I still league. think I still think you, Juventus has the best defender league. I think it's Bremer. Uh, Bremer's yeah. up there. I mean, yeah, central defenders. But Kim has played really, really yeah. well. But I think his lack of playing good in the beginning of the season or up to his level was because he was in the wrong position. He had Bonucci next to him. Yeah. But I also think Kim hasn't showed off all his stuff yet. First of all, he's super yeah. fast. He's strong. He's big. And he can pass the ball. Like, I also he, doesn't, think, he doesn't show it a lot. But I can. think the same can be said for Gatti, right? Like people are saying, oh, he's not what we thought he was. The yeah. guy didn't play for like 10 games, and now he's finally starting to play. Like, give him a chance to like get no, his not. timing in the time. he has made a mistake. No, he has. Yeah, he has. Do you it's remember like Chiellini when like he came to Juventus the now first two years? Couldn't oh, fifty game he played to play his time. You need playing time to improve. You need playing time. Like you remember Chiellini when he first came, he uh, was horrible. But that's well, that's the thing about the Napoli players when they are getting their playing time, they're all stepping up and they're all yeah. playing well. It's not like oh man, this guy came in and we sucked because he couldn't do anything right. on the wing. You know, hey, like, every you single know, person's uh, coming you know, in doing well. You know, at Napoli, he has a roster. And he has a Spalletti. He know how to to play the people. He switch them. He you know, relax. You know, it's some if make everybody play. And they're going to be very refreshed coming into the second half of the season because they only have five people going to the World Cup. Yeah, but they have out of all the top teams, they have the least amount of people. And that, that guy, that guy for Napoli, Odegaard, the guy, is strong too. Yeah, and he barely plays. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, and Rabani has been hurt. He's not playing. You know, they have such such a deep team. And Merritt make, is actually hey, making hey, a hey, save here and there. Hey, you know <laughs> what? Dorentris is the best of life. He's been great. Mm-hmm. It, it's, 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 
He's gotten it, so much better. It's so hard to say something bad about this team. Like, I want to say something bad about him, but you can't. You think yeah. he's better than Origi or um, Odoji or whatever? Odoji's a left Odoji. back. First no, Odoji's a left back. Um, well, I, thought no, said, I, I thought you said best back. No. No, right full back. Odoji, first of all, has – you're working well, on that's potential what I would for do. Odoji. Because like, he's uh, not serious. Spinazzola, Spinazzola is not playing very well. Yeah. But if you want to play with three defenders, three defenders is good, you know, uh, or De Lorenzo, De Lorenzo and Odoji. Yeah, and, and Dodo. That's all a little bit, you know, to switch. Yeah. Hey. Um, anyway, like I said, there's there's really nothing more to say about Napoli that we haven't been hammering home for 15 weeks. Um, they're they're great. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think we've all said it, right? Like, if Juventus isn't going to win, we all want Napoli to win. So. 100%. That would be, so, like, the ideal thing yeah. is to have Napoli win. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, what well, else? To enter? Yeah. yeah but you, know what, you know what I think about... You went to win all the time. He won the nine years in a row, and now it looks like he wants to make it two or three team win once to Inter, once to Milan, once to Napoli. After that, we're gonna start again. Yeah, but it's good for the league, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But that's also your clue that the league isn't very good. Yeah. There's no, when there's no, no dominant team, then then the league is yeah. any, well, anyone could win it. So it's also a lot of what I'm say for the. The shed that oh, you went to size after this period of three years, they're going to start again. Exactly. It's going to come soon where they win another five in a row. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> like, I, it, it will happen. They spend the money. Especially if we're when the Legri's four year final contract people. is over. Because as young people, we have young people. And that's the yeah, difference. If we, don't, if we don't give them away, don't forget, we've sold them in the past. No, no but we're to actually invest in the keyboard. Yeah, don't forget we've sold them in the past. Spinazzola, yeah, also, Romero, we yeah, sold them all. Play, uh, but easy. All right, we gotta stop talking about Juventus. Yeah, but yeah, let's move to um the Inter Adelant game, which was six thirty in the morning East Coast time. If you I only saw the last fifteen minutes. I saw the last fifteen minutes of this. I saw it. Um, it was uh, Adelant had the lead, right, Chris? Because they had a, yeah. a penalty yeah. shot, mm-hmm. which um the Vry, who who again was super slow. And and just takes out a player with taking bad angles and his his one on one defending has gotten uh, yeah. Not very good. Had, had the lead and they started off really well. They just yeah. blew it. Um, you know, but Inter, you know, two goals from Jekko, um, an own goal. Palomino's first game back after his suspension from his doping stuff. He scores a goal for Adelant. He scores a goal for Inter. Almost scores a second goal for Adelant, which you know, yeah, had a great save for Adelant. The first goal. Uh, that's that's score. It was a luck. No, a luck. no, I mean, you know, no. It was, what's what's his name? Uh, Lautaro had. Yeah, he went down to you know. He was a luck. Wait, is that the one? You guys where, give no credit to people for knowing. Wait, wait, what wait, doing. Chris, was this the one where he like contorted his leg? Yeah, like that. That took flexibility and yeah. coordination. That was a good goal. He's a forward. No, it was a luck because for they did the Lautaro from. The end of the area. Okay. You know, it, it, it surpass all the defense. Yes, but let me ask you a question. Did Lotaro do that on purpose? No. What? <laughs> you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not the the end end was was like, okay, whatever. Because he was, like, um, was turning like this. No, it was intentional. He was a, Listen, Rabio's yeah, pass he, over the top was locked to cat to Kane. Yeah, you know, like it's the same shit. It, it's he it's didn't want to play. Just a, yes, he did. Okay, whatever. I, I saw it as good coordination and flexibility from a guy who's thirty-seven and really tall. Like, but Dan, he's not even talking about that. He's talking about the header to get it to him. Yeah, no. I mean, he's <laughs> trying to keep the play he moving. It on. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Hey, anyway. you know, you know what? Uh, I read the Gasperini right. Make you like understand that he was upset, right? The the the, the senator, the old people, they don't make him work in peace, like because he he would like to to play more young people all the time, mm-hmm. and maybe the senator push, but you know. That sucks because well, you, as a coach, you want to yeah, have control. That's, yeah, but I heard he was upset. I thought he was upset because he was tired of like. He was like, we have to pick which direction we want to go in, right? Like, do we want to win or do we want to keep, like, restarting? I thought it was. I almost felt like he – wasn't he frustrated because I think he's finally – you would think if you're Gasparini, like, you got to somewhat be like, I'm coming to the end of the career and I'm never legitimately going to compete for anything. 
Well, his frustrations when during the summer was that they didn't buy enough and they were taking yeah. too long to buy people. And, and now you're saying that he wants the younger from, people. So from Atlanta, he bought a boga from a Sassuolo. Yeah. He never played. Yeah, he never played. Yeah, he never plays him. He's, he's been weird. injured and he hasn't been good when he's played. He has. Yeah, but he never played him either. But, but maybe he's been doing shit in practice. You know. Yeah. Know. I also think there's something between him and Gasparini. I don't think they like each other. He he hasn't played good whenever he comes in. And Malinovsky, there's something between him and, and uh well, that's Gasparini. probably what he means by the older guys, right? Yeah. But so so really quickly, those two guys, I could see them a hundred percent getting sold in the winter. Like those two guys easily can get sold. Yeah, the way Avalon does it, right? They're like, we'll just replace you with somebody else. But I guess about uh, to the point Gasparini though, like, is he frustrated because he's like, I've done as much as I can do with this team, but I'm never going to win anything, which has got to be really frustrating if you're a coach, yeah. right? Like, I mean, you do it to win something, like, not to be like, you think Gosford really looks in the mirror and goes, I'm worse than Allegri? Maybe they, maybe there's still a misunderstanding. They don't know exactly what they want. Well, that's that's what I they want to get into to, to make young people play so you can make money, yeah. or you want to try to get on top of what that's what I'm saying. saying. I wonder if he's like, yeah, kind of like, you, which, what do we want to be here? You can't be the coach has one idea and the management has another. It's never going to work. So they need to figure that out. If not, he needs to go. And go yeah, else. because I'm just saying, like, you know, it's sports is competition, right? To be at the top level as a coach or player, you got to be really competitive. And yeah, yeah, everybody looks, has to think of the same, the same. Yeah, to be successful. But I'm saying, just as an individual level, as a coach, you got to go, am I worse than Allegri who's got 10 championships or whatever the hell he's got? Am I worse than all these coaches that win? Now like, that think is, now that think is the, the miss, now that think is the miss, the miss Zapata is not the old Zapata. No. Yeah. no. But it's even close. Muriel, they sold. I mean, they... they yeah, Muriel, Muriel's still there. The chairman of Fuhrer. Yeah. Who? Uh, oh, Fuhrer. Fella, uh, Froiler, with, yeah. With the, the room in midfield. Yeah, he was there together in Port Swiss, couple. but yeah. <laughs> Froiler, as, uh, yeah, he's in he's in Nottingham Forest in England now. He was good with the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even the room doesn't play as much as you. They're no, trying the to make no, they're trying to the make room, a change. I understand he wants to play him uh, uh, center, center defense. Defense, yeah, because center Coop, defense. Coop Miners has uh, taken uh, over that role. Like he's the rock in the midfield now, you know. Um, Ederson, you know, they sign these people because you can't just rely on the same old people all the time. You need to bring in new blood. It just hasn't really worked out for them. Boga's been a failure. Yeah, but you know? if, uh, Daniel, you have to put to do the right movement. You cannot say to the room play different. They're just they're a weird team because they have so many youth players that you guys don't even know about that are like yeah. ridiculous. Like Karnaseki is on a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. No, it's still they know how to play, get the player because yeah. lock room. How much you have? Lock. Look Look man, that's good. Yeah. yeah. The other Sophie, the other guy, they're good. They, they know how to get the player. Yeah, Sophie. They... Or maybe they get confused that they have too many. I mean, here's the thing. In the beginning of the season, none of us had them in the top four. And I think we're seeing them starting to dip and not be in the top, you know, in the top four in the end. They're going to probably be fighting for a Europa League spot. I don't think they're going to have enough to bounce back and by the end of the season, jump back into the top four. No, because they dropped. The from two years two year, uh, now, they dropped. Yeah, so it's going to take – their season is going to be taking – developing these young guys so that hopefully next season they can do the real bounce back and and see where their players and, are. And this, what did this tell us, I guess? I guess Gasparini in the end is cycling there. That's the goal. Well, he, yeah, he's going to make that decision. It's going to be his call if he wants to go or not. I just hope he stays in Italy if he does go. Well, I don't think he. I think he's old and he's not going to want to go <laughs> across the seas and. Uh, yeah, but you know, when it's a different team offers him money, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, Deserby's having success, and you know, coaches do have success. Uh, you teams. know, I guess maybe now we're seeing a good thing Juventus. Of course, I don't think he'd mesh well with the management, though. <laughs> oh, no, the management no, no, wouldn't no. be there. Probably. It wasn't with Juventus with the young people. Yeah, and with this defense that we have, I think yeah. Uh, he would do good. Um, do you want to talk quickly? Well, we'll talk about other games, but we want to talk about the Fiorentina Rome game because that was one of the yeah, big Milan. games on. I'm sorry, Milan Fiorentina game. Oh, yeah. then, uh, then Rome Torino, too. I made you lose $5. Uh, you did make me lose $5. You suck. Yeah, uh, but. 
So Fiorentina, Milan, 2-1, um, Milan win. To me, in this game, Fiorentina got robbed and deserved at least yep. a point. Um, just going from, I know I'm jumping to it, but um, Okone got taken out in the box by Tamori, and that was a penalty shot to me. And it, oh, seemed, yeah. like, it seemed like they didn't even want to review it. And it, it that was exactly That was exactly our text during the game, right? We're like, there's 100% no way on earth – that if that's Juventus, that they don't review it, and nine nine percent, it's a penalty. Like with Milan, no, they, they, they would have gave him a red card too. Yeah, like, it they was, didn't even uh, review it. Like they I, didn't even say, "Oh, let's review it." Like I, I, I don't understand. I didn't understand it. The game that's was one one at that point. Point, I think you know they say they they, they show on the Moviola uh, when the uh, he got to, tomorrow got to, with the left foot, the behind foot. Yeah, he hit with both legs. Uh, I think I think even when he tried to to get the ball, he got the from the back, and he got this coach and the other coach. I think it was a red foul. In it the was. A, that's the thing. Like I don't I don't see how yeah. they saw it the other way. Has it no. wasn't a foul? It was a foul. Yeah. To me. Not, and not, not even enough to go. go hey, Raf, come, come look at this. this. Yeah, it should. It needs to be more consistent. Like, like that's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. That's just crazy. It, th- there was no, there's no way that that wasn't. I mean, it was a straight-up penalty. It was a penalty. Hit the leg. Let me ask you guys, because maybe I'm dumb. They have a fourth official that brings the attention to the referee, correct? And the, ref- the fourth official. They have, besides that, they have a wire. Wa- yeah, but they have an actual bar official. Yeah, and they're, that's yeah. off-site, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, it is off-site. So yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah, that's in a room. Um, they get, there's certain people that get assigned to, that, to that, stuff. But that's what confuses me. Why is it so inconsistent? Exactly. Like, like that, that wasn't, wasn't like that wasn't like a. I would never think that could be a penalty. Like it's, it's like that was. Yeah, that, you know, I wonder one thing. Uh, about the lights, man. Why are they there just to to raise the flag when the? Well, I also out? think it. I think now with VAR, right? Like the linesmen are less likely to make a call because they're like VAR will do it. Yeah, but they do have the ability to call fouls. It hasn't been stripped away from them. They can't. Yeah, they, they do, like, but they avoid yeah, it. I feel the like. Been good, I don't they, just to, to race when the ball go out. And yeah, they see, just because in the past, the foul in, there. in the past, I think that would have been a, before VAR. That would have been the lines, and the lines would have raised their their flag, been like. Especially from the angle where they would have been standing, where you would have looked like it went through the guy. Like for them not to, everyone just like let VAR do it. So it's like yeah, on us. That's what they're told because they want it to flow, and then if they'll go back to it. Yeah, they, 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 because they have a wire, they have a wire. They said the last spent just to, yeah. you raise the flag I, when the ball go out. That's I don't know. It. To me, in real time, it looked like it was a foul. In the replays, it looked like a foul. So I, I don't know. It was just a confusing one to me. Other than that, like the second goal that. Milan scored when that guy fronts who never plays get puts the cross off. Oh, uh, Fiorentina's uh, goalie uh, oh, yeah, yeah. was uh, terrible. Uh, on that play. I was young, and we used to play the the, in the internal uh, game uh, with the president. Uh, he was, you know, like a coach to a president, but he doesn't really know nothing. And say to a, a, a wing. On my team, you say, you do this. When the ball go down, it come get. And that's he, another he, throwback story by Pietro. <laughs> well, he he no, told him to be the ball boy. The 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 case, they just to when the ball is out. He made him the he ball boy. The foul in there. I mean, I just think there's, I just think there's like to Chris's point, it should be more consistent. It shouldn't create more doubt with uh, VAR because it brings into doubt. Did they make the right call? What was the reasoning to not even bring it for review? It makes you think, yeah. like, is it yeah, shady? Sometimes they do it, sometimes yeah. they don't. But, like, Frank, which, would you be surprised if it is, like, it is shady? Like, no. It, it's Italy. Like, Yeah, 100%. And let's see the teams that get the benefit of the doubt most often. Milan and Inter. Yeah. Like, anyone playing Juventus? <laughs> which every, I mean, I hate to say it. Like, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, but, like, there's this a guy. clear. No, they just, they just I see just... with the Salerno, Salerno time, the five minutes. And then, the, uh, you know what happened? They said that they win never the, the, the side. Oh, yeah. They got the, 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 the five well, minutes. Oh, yeah. Which game was that again? Where, where they couldn't Salerno see the game? Time, when it wasn't 3 2. Oh, when Juventus. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, um, because the they they never they 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 need to improve it. I mean, we complain about this all the time. I think they should just cut it out. And I think you should just cut it cut it out and go back to humans. Yeah. At yeah, least when but, it was humans, it's in real time, and the ref had to make a call in real time. And yeah, like, oh, there's no goals. There's the goal, no goals goal, in the game. The goal Danilo scored against the Inter, the ref called a goal. That was the right yeah. call. It was the right call. Of course, the goal was wasn't the right call. Like His arm was like being it. held by the guy. Ah, it was yeah. all the book. Come on, he was I, all the think... also, And also, Dan made a good point. It doesn't get like right now. You know how many moments it steals away from like no, the joy sure. of the game. The Someone scores a goal and everyone's yeah. got to look around, and then they come back and go, "Yeah, it's a goal." Four minutes later, and it's like all it the sucks. drama's gone. Yeah, I can go take a take a shit because I have to wait all for the, the drama for the call to be made. It's like yeah. it used to be a game you where someone would score a goal, they're ripping the shirt off, everyone's going crazy. Now it's like you have to look at VAR check. Like, yeah. it, it's not improving the game. But from like, the actual game. That aside, Fiorentina deserved more. Like they, yeah, they, Fiorentina they totally well. deserved the least to draw. Um, I you know, they they even even when being down, they always yeah, attack. They always want the interest. possession. Two goals. They, 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 they was an angle. Oh yeah, and then other at the end of the but game, Tira, Ocone, one at Zezuko push the the main line. Yeah. No, but yeah, yeah, that was an exact goal that they took a, that they looked back at you. Uh, they took away from Juventus. <laughs> with Blavich did it two weeks before and he had midfield and for that one if your team it gets worse calls than Juventus on VAR. Well, an actual play that happened in the game late in the game was Akone had got the ball in the box. He he's got an open shot. He beats the goalie and then Tamori clears it off the line. That was your two two draw right there. Well, the, one, um, yeah. the, the one the one that Inter scored with Fiorentina when uh, Desco pushed uh, Milink Milink Milinkovic he wasn't there to jump. Now, when you are in the air and uh, you have a little push, you see yeah. you move, move him. Yeah. He cuts. All right, you, I think you, we have to move on to the rest of the results, right? <laughs> it was not a, fa- not a fair result. It wasn't fair. Was Fiorentina deserved better because they just started playing well. And they and I think, honestly, the game could have went the other way where they could have won this game. But a tie would have been fair. But they got oh, screwed, I, I feel like. Fiorentina with... Uh, Beragi did the post. In the yeah, Beragi did, did the post, did post in the too. seventh minute, right? Because yeah. Leal scores in the second minute. So, of course, they they are down as soon as the game starts. But they come back at the post in the seventh minute. And then mm-hmm. Milan scores in the 90th minute. Like the beginning of the end yeah. of the game, Fiorentina falls asleep. When the, the majority of the yeah. game, they had a lot of game, chances. You can see the game even if you look at the midfield, the Tonali, uh, Benacer didn't do nothing. No, Amrabat the was the best midfielder on the field. Yeah, Amrabat so um, played decent, but he still gets slow on the ball sometimes and does some dumbass plays. Um, like uh, there was one where like he was running towards the ball and he kind of like he, he was being pressured and he didn't he knew he could do anything, so he just like dummied it and hoped well, that sometimes he, he's like always, what is that? Bro? He's, cool. he, he's always cool on the ball, but sometimes he's too cool. Sometimes he's it cool turns into too slow. But he's but, been, but he played. But he played. He's been doing that his whole life, though. That's yeah, how he and, plays. Oh, he's I'm been a million times better good. this year than last he's year. Yeah, well. yeah, last year he played. Remember last year we thought he was going to be like a great well, steal, and they he played never played for them. They never. They never. Put We're them. always a year ahead. I feel like I was two years ahead on him. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he was awesome. On no, they, they last year didn't play well. No, he didn't. This year he's playing better, but like, um, but I still think Fiorentina got hosed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if if you, uh, even the Fiorentina was missing a lot of that player. Well, Dodo Castro got hurt. Um, Castrovilli is still hurt. They have, yeah, they have some injuries. Um, anyway, Chris, run down the scores of the other games. We'll talk about them real quick. Well, right. the, the wrong um, Torino game is an actual. Well, let me run them down. You can stop when you want to stop. Yeah. Uh, so, round 15, we had Empoli 1 2 0 versus Cremonese. I don't know if you guys want to say anything. The Cario. Yes, it played beautiful. They did. Vicario with another shutout. He gives him two, three points, another three points, because that goalie is great. So Yeah. Um, Lynch beats Samp 2 nothing. Rumors that Ranieri is coming back. I, I mean, know. I don't know that he can save that team. They're really Wait, yeah. Rumors Wait. that Ranieri is coming back where? To, to Samp. Samp. Really? Because they're it's, stuck. They're so they're, bad. They're, they're really bad. No, I, but I think it's a, it's a team. It's no. something wrong. No, no, and they will buy people. Too. They're gonna buy people, but I if they only have like five or six points, they gotta problem is they're seven points behind the fourth or fourth or last already. Their yeah. roster's bad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. 
I think so. Um, Bologna beat Sassuolo 3-0. This game wasn't even close. This, this, game, this game sucked. It wasn't even close. Sassuolo's not good. Yeah, yeah. and come. Sassuolo's played bad. Look yeah, lost players. Bologna. Bologna played way better than them. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> um, three nothing. Three nothing. Yeah. Rome tied Torino one one. This game was kind of nuts at the end, especially. So here's the thing: Dybala comes in the, off the bench. Rome yeah. does nothing before he comes off the bench. No, yeah. he changed once, the whole game for that. Once he comes in, he changed the game. The last ten minutes, draws a penalty shot, hits a crossbar. Cross they bench. don't let him take the penalty shot. Well, that was my first thing. He gets the penalty, and they let Belotti take it. Well, yeah. so the one thing I will say is he did get hurt right before that, and it looked like he told Belotti, "Like, go ahead." Take yeah, it. I mean, no, it's he, just, he said, was Pellegrini he playing at that Belotti point with the ball? Was Pellegrini playing at that point? Mm, I don't remember. Because if he's in, he, he should be taking it over Belotti, and Dybala should always take it over Belotti. So that right there pissed me off because he drew the penalty and he would have yeah. scored. Um, but the team did nothing until Dybala came in. Yeah. No, he did nothing. And in Dybala, the, the the shot that he took off the, the – was a nice crossbar. shot. Oh, that was crossbar. Vintage Dybala. Vintage Dybala. Oh, when he came to Dybala, 20 minutes? 20 yeah, minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. Is that the ballad he did everything himself? Yeah. Yeah, but himself. you have to remember he is coming Could off an injury. Best. Yeah, and yeah. he wants to be ready for the World Cup. He doesn't want to go crazy, but still, it's that's how dependent Rome is. No, but that's I told you. That like I told you, Roma without the but with the Bala, it's another team. Yeah, they're an average. Team. Everybody get better with the Bala. Yeah, you remember how good they were playing the first six, seven games? We were like, wow, look at them play. And then he got hurt, and which has always been part of the problem with the Bala, though, because. You know, how many games does he play? Right? Yeah, but, hey, hey, so what? What do you want to say? We got to the Maria better? No, the oh, Maria blows. We should have never gotten to Maria. <laughs> anyway, Mourinho did get a red card too in the 80th minute. because Yeah, but he was right. right in there. He was yeah. right, yeah. Because, uh, did you see, it was a foul on the ball. The guy turned the, 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 the ball all over. Yeah. But he I mean, didn't he, it seems it's like he's getting, he gave the yellow card to the He was player. definitely foul. He's getting thrown out like every other game, though, it feels like. Like, he's just... Yeah, but it wasn't know, right to the... But it wasn't at least right to the, the players, like... I feel like they like that because he's sticking up for them, at least, you know? Yeah. All right, continue, Chris. Go to the next one. Um, Verona... T- oh, no. Spezia beat Verona 2-1. Yeah, Verona had the lead, and then they lost it. Verona's actually lost 10 games in a row. They're, They're terrible. not good. Yeah. We called that in the beginning of the season. Yeah, they're um, better than that. They're better yeah, than that. No, how many questions did they change? They suck, dude. They've sold players. Like, we called this in the beginning of the season. They were not going to be good. Uh, yeah. Now it's both yeah, but I didn't think they would get relegated. Well, they got rid of Tudor and Urich, right? To your, yeah, and no, Barat, Barat, and just and their last two coaches, yeah. Yeah, yeah last two coaches. But I'm saying it could be the coach effect is why they played good. Right, like the and last. No, but they got rid of good they players. They get rid of some, you know Brock and play. yeah, they did. But I think if those one of those two coaches are still there, I think they'll be playing better than they are now. Well, they're not going to get relegated. Yeah. Yeah. But it sucks because they're one of the teams I like, and I don't want to see them get relegated. Yeah. Um. um Monza beat Salernitana three nothing. I didn't watch any of this game. They it was funny. Salernitana was playing good up to yeah. They the dominated. Ravella had an assist. Um, played okay. Uh, yeah, they dominated them. Um, and then we talked about the other games. Okay. Um, Should we start wanna, back again at the beginning and talk about Juventus? No. You want to read off the standings? Uh, the, the break standings as it is? You know, yeah, with so a month off? 15, off. 15 games in, we have Napoli with 41, followed by Milan 33, Juventus 31, Lots and Inter is 30. Adelante and Rome have 27, Udinese has 21, Torino and Fiorentina 19. And did you see already uh, uh, many teams that went be, behind the Inter Juventus? Yeah. Atalanta. Yeah. Udinese and Rome. Rome. Well, when we come back, don't forget, there's 23 games left. Yeah, yeah. but now, 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 why? If Lazio stay there. Otherwise, he would say, the, the well, crazy, the, the Juventus, uh, I, I think Inter- the crazier thing about the, the standings is more. eighth place to... Um, what is it? Eight, 20, 19, 18, 17th place is a six point difference, eighth to, to 17th place, yeah, 16th place, yeah. But you can say the same thing, eighth to eighth, but that's second. That's what I said, though. <laughs> but that's what I said at the beginning of the season. I think all these teams are going to beat up on each other, and nobody's good. And I think yeah. you're seeing that, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's funny because our predictions because season seem so far off with the top four, 
and it's starting to really kind of blend back to those. I mean, no one picked Napoli, right? But no, um, no one picked but, them top four. No, I don't think so. So you know, but it's going back to chalk. Like in twenty three yeah, more cause... games, it's going to go back to the way the big teams at the top. Yeah. Anyway, finishing up the table, bottom three, you have Cremene, Samp, and Verona. But Seven, like a six. lot of points back already. Yeah. Third. Oh, but, Spezia's yeah, 13. I, 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 for, I forgot to concern the bottom. I don't even put the same in the, the save like Salernitana with 17. I think so. Still. No, they're not team. safe. But still from there. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't see Samp getting 17 points all season. Like, no, they're I don't, terrible. I don't either. They're so. I mean, no, don't forget, this is also. Do, don't forget, typically when we're having this conversation, we're having it at the winter break, right? Christmas yeah. break, where it's like the who's the, the first. We're. We're not halfway in right it's now. Eight, eight, three less eight. games. Yeah. Three less games. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah but don't games. don't forget to, a, a team and make a two win is a six points. Yeah, the but race. I don't think I don't think no, Verona it's not, has one. Even the Texas just for doing two wins in if they think you turn around, they get to eleven. And they jump with the idea with the other. They're people. still not in the they're still in the bottom three if they're in eleven. They got eleven. Yeah, points. but uh, it's gonna go like that all the time. I'm just saying it's not. I think you, I think you know. I think it would take one of the 15, 16, 17 teams, one of them to have a really bad. Uh, um, Those teams are always harder to play in the second half of the season because yeah, they, of course, they are trying harder, you know, and don't want to get relegated. And those teams are fun to watch because they're fighting for their life. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's move on. Uh, so we else, we can go got? to our predictions at our halfway point. Frank picked up some points. I'm still dominated on top of Dominated this two weeks. Dominated. Put me yes. back in the running for the second half. Hey, so I'm watch. On... Dom, if you're dom, uh, Frank, you dominate once. once. Yeah. I know. Thank God. I'm on top of 28. Dan has 22. Pietro has 21. And Frank has 15. I got what? 12 this week, you said. Yeah, no, that's not updated, Chris. Uh, well, what are you reading off of? Why do you read it? That's oh, maybe you, you sent the you're wrong slide. You say you got in. a lot of points. I what definitely mean? updated it. Yeah, I, um, I thought you guys. Hold were, on, I'll let, I have it again. Let me I was read like, it. Oh, I thought I did good. No, because Frank had twelve points in this this one week. So, um, right, well, Frank. So Chris has thirty four. Okay. Me, me, and Daddy have twenty seven, and Frank has twenty three. So Frank actually oh. jumped back into. Daddy, and me, are you twenty seven? Yeah. yeah. So I'm Two. seven points up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then, I basically got like my entire season in this last like round. You doubled your points in one week. Yeah. Oh, but let's not forget that was two it weeks. Was two worth. weeks. Yeah, but still, two out of fifteen. Yeah, but what's the be- <laughs> Frank? You did the trick two times for him too. I don't even remember any of my picks. Uh, I can I can look it up. He got a he got two picks exactly correct. Um, let me see. Frank got. I did the trick two for him too. I think. Um. No, he picks he picked Fiorentina, Milan, correct one, two, and so did I. We both picked that. Okay, um, that's so. Uh, it's whatever. It's he's back in it. At least he's not. But somebody so, say three, two, for it. I don't know. In your sleep, maybe because nobody picked it over here. Wow. <laughs> um, I think that's all. The, oh no, we have one more slide. The challenge. Do you want to explain it to you? I don't have it in front of me, but we're we're not necessarily going to do it this week because we have. A five-week gap. So if there's a boring week, we can we can fill in some time. But every year we do a challenge where um, at the halfway point we try to create our own fantasy team that would contend for the title. So basically, the way it works is you make a roster um, where you choose one player from each team that's currently not in the top four. So no one from Napoli, no one from Milan, no one from Juventus, or no one from Lazio can get picked. Mm-hmm. You 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 have to pick a coach included. You pick your own formation, and you pick one player yeah, from each team. So we did, but we forgot about that. No, no so, we, but but we're gonna we're gonna do it again. So we did it. So we did it last year, and I believe we vote every year who's got yeah. the best team. And last year, you it's guys picked my great. team. It's um, always great. We have to do the World Cup thing. Yeah, but we're gonna do this at some point during this uh, World Cup break. Yeah. Um. So I do have a slide. For the um, the World Cup groups, I-, I could go through them and then we could. I don't know the group. I don't know the. Well, groups, all we're gonna do is why don't we just why don't we just name one group at a time since not all of us can see the slides. Um, okay. So what what we're gonna do hey, is we're just gonna why pick. Why don't the, you do? The, oh, you have it. The, the you have it. The the, 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 the round. The, the, yeah. the, 
Just pay attention. Let's listen, listen, let me talk. Let him talk. He we are. Screen. We're going to pick the top two teams. We're all going to put down the top yeah. two teams yeah, that can teams. come out of each group. Okay. Which, looking at these groups, I think we're going to have a lot of overlap because they're yeah, pretty the same. Groups. Everyone's going to have the same. Um, but let's do it anyway, right? So you want me? So let's just do one group at a time. Is anyone going to keep note of these? Uh, producer, when he listens to it, he'll write it. Down. Okay. Producer, write these. I've down. just so given let's, him that job. <laughs> let's start with Group A. So Group A, we have Qatar. Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. Now, let's not forget that no home nation has ever, ever failed to qualify, I believe, for the second round. Okay. Well, well, let's make well, let's because... make this a little a little quicker. Does anyone is anyone not going <laughs> to pick quicker? What do you mean? Is uh, anyone not going to pick Senegal and Netherlands? It depends how rigged they want to do it. I don't know. I might want to put Qatar in there, but I'm going to go. Yeah, Netherlands, Senegal. Me too. Me too. What do you say, Bob? I don't care. Which te- which two teams are gonna go through at a group A? Qatar. Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, or Netherlands? Qatar and Netherlands. Yes. Oh, so he's going Qatar. Qatar. He's going because home he country. knows. He yeah, knows. He knows that's home, right? Yeah. 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 That's why they do yeah, but they're, they're the only like home there. country that doesn't actually play soccer. So I don't know if anyone. <laughs> <play soccer. laughs> I don't know. It could, there could be the fix in there, right? Also, let's keep in mind. I am not for this World Cup at all. Like, screw this. I don't really don't give a shit, honestly. It's going to take a lot to loop me in, like U.S. running to the finals or yeah, something. I really don't. Um, keep, keep going, Group B. All right, Group B, we have England, Iran, USA, and Wales. Okay, England so, and USA. Well, you got to pick the order, too, by the way. But well, he is. He just said England, USA, one, two. Yeah, so I agree, England, England USA. I'm saying USA won England too. Get the fuck out of here. Because England always sucks in the World Cup. Is Aaron Ramsey on the Wales team? Probably. Yeah. All right. England, USA. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm the only one who didn't go chalk there just because. I mean, I, there's no way England's not group, coming out of first. Group C Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. To me, so I'll say first Argentina, Poland. Poland has 10 um, Italian league players on the team, by the way. Second so they're, right? they're going to be fun to watch for us um, this year. But a little Argentina, Poland, lick action. And, and I think Mexico is going to be really bad this World Cup. I think Argentina, Poland. Yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah. Yep, same for me. Group D, France, the powerhouse of Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. To me, this is easy France. France Denmark. And Denmark. You know what? I'm going Denmark, France. Yeah. Okay, France is really good, dude. Do you see that? I know, no, I know they're really good. I'm going to go France, Denmark. Yeah, I, I like Denmark since the Euros. So Group E: Spain, España, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. I know where Dan's going, but that's a hard Spain. group. That's not an easy group. Spain, Germany. Spain, Germany. Even Costa Rica is not terrible. Um, I'm going Spain, Germany, though. I'm not picking. Uh, Spain. I thought Dan was going to say no, Japan. Japan's not good. Uh, okay. I'm going to say screw it. I'll swap it. Germany, Spain. Um, okay. Let's go Group F. I put it order too. Yeah. I changed it too. Well, you too bad. Your order is what you said now. You put them in order next. From moving. Forward. I mean, I explained it in order. Yeah. So um, we're gonna have a we're gonna have an active listening workshop after this workshop. Um, <laughs> So, Group F, we got Belgium, we got Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. For me, Belgium, Belgium Canada. Croatia. You said Chris says Belgium, Canada. What would you say? Be- Belgium, Croatia. Dan? Um, Belgium, Morocco. They have Amrabat. <laughs> okay. I think I feel like I picked Morocco a couple times because I'm wrong. They screwed me. I'm going to do um, – I mean, it's going to be Croatia, but I'm putting. I'm going to do Belgium, Croatia. <laughs> hey, don't sleep on Canada. Canada's not going to make it out of that group. Group G, Brazil with Sandro on it, mm-hmm. Serbia with eleven players from uh, City on it, Switzerland and Cameroon. This group is hard. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is the good. hardest group. Yeah, is good. I'm going to say Serbia, Brazil. Oh God! Everyone's going Serbia one. No, I'm saying hey, Serbia. Serbia. I go for Serbia. Brazil, yeah. Serbia. I go for Serbia to win. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is is uh, who's injured on their team? On, who? on Serbia. Serbia. Serbia has. They're healthy. What are you talking about? Why I just, are they hurt? I can't put Brazil on the top with Sandra on that roster. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Well, he's not going to play. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to go Serbia, Brazil as well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, we just basically made sure that Serbia doesn't get out of the group. No, no, I pick Brazil, Serbia, but Serbia beside USA is the team I'm rooting for too. Hundred percent. Yeah, I could I could get behind some Serbia action. Um, and then Group H, we have Portugal, we have Ghana, Uruguay, and Korea Republic. I'm going to say, even though I, Leao, I think, is amazing, I'm going to say Uruguay, Portugal. Really? Yes. Who's, who's I not have, Uruguay now? I they have a good roster. No, I don't Portugal. like Uruguay. No, they have a good roster. No, I'm saying Portugal, Portugal, Ghana are coming out of that group. No, Portugal, all right. We'll Portugal. say. One African team is going to make it to the next round. I'm going to say Portugal, Korea Republic, because they're well oiled machine. Yeah, they got Kim. They got Kim. So, um, they're always drilled hard. They always yeah. play hard. Why do you not? So, anyway, I mean. All right, just, well, that's it. it. These, these groups are boring, to be honest. Wake, like, wake me up when the uh, 2026 World Cup comes around. <laughs> 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 Who's your guys' pick to win it all? Oh, oh, that's good. I haven't really, really thought about, about it because I've been, like, mentally banning myself from this World Cup, but I can do no, that. No, but quick. if I'm looking at all the teams, I think Spain's going to win it. No, I think France. They're too good. Mm. I really like Spain's midfield. I think it's such a team. There's not a team, but they can beat. No, but you France, have to Brazil, Germany. Just a pick one. Serbia. I mean, who's the favorite? It's France and England are the favorites, like, betting-wise, right? I'm definitely Belgium, don't forget team. Belgium. Belgium will up. Yeah. yeah, they're not the favorite though anymore. So pick a team. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. who's gonna win it all? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Serbia. <laughs> all right. And also, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go USA. USA is gonna win. Oh, oh God. Frank, no, why are you on this podcast? I, I don't. Um, <laughs> Seb, listen. Yeah. He's trying to get that U.S. audience to. Uh, I'm trying to get that U.S. audience. Um, honestly, I would, I would love to see like a Serbia, Serbia win the whole thing, whole thing but I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. happen. That's not the question. Who do you think will they fix it for Ronaldo to get a World Cup? Portugal. No. Which we didn't talk about Ronaldo, but the comments he made about Manchester United. Yesterday on Piers Morgan's show, Frank, I don't know if you saw those comments. No, I yeah, God, about that guy to, is not on about to Portugal. Portugal, they have a problem. They have Ronaldo and Leao. Yeah, yeah, we should play in the same spot. Well, yeah, and Leao that that's why Leao might not get a lot of minutes. Yeah, <laughs> Leao might not get a lot of minutes. You know what that means. What right. happened? We have to end this. It's ten o'clock. Right, I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go um, France because I hate Spain. Okay. Okay. Great. Allegri out. <laughs> Coach in the months, but Allegri out. Thanks for watching, listening. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow. If yeah, yeah, like you was gonna win. I told you. Who did I pick? I don't even know. Who did I pick? Spain. I picked Spain. Hey, you, Chris. France. Hey, we will. France too? I took Serbia. We, we will be on next week. No, right? but Brazil, no. This guy just cut off the entire outro. Oh, good night. <laughs> we, we will be on next week, right? We'll talk about the, the first whatever. I mean, it's going to be the guitar game. There's going to be Monday games for the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, I guess and, we'll talk about the games that played, and maybe we'll do our, not the challenge next week, the challenge after week. Yeah, it'll probably be a yeah, short Yeah, then we see some game, and we can change our mind. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, well, we're, we're, the next uh, rest of the month is going to be all World Cup shows, basically. All right. Thanks for listening. Uh, Catch you next week. Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.